Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. We have found that we use sentences to express our thoughts. But we also find that we use these sentences in different ways for different purposes. Can you notice any difference in the following sentences? Number one, two classes have always existed. Number two, to which class do you belong? And number three, join your class in the struggle. When I say two classes have always existed, I am making a simple assertion, stating what I know or believe to be true. When I say, to which class do you belong? I am asking a question. When I say, join our class in the struggle, I am giving a command or making a request. These three kinds of sentences are called assertive, interrogative, and imperative. An assertive sentence states a fact or an opinion. An interrogative sentence asks a question. An imperative sentence gives a command, makes a request, or expresses a wish. Any of these three kinds of sentences may be exclamatory. That is, it may express surprise, excitement, impatience, or some other emotion. For example, Hooray! Freedom is coming. This is an assertion expressed as an exclamation. Oh, why should war continue? Here, we have a question in the form of an exclamation. Come, keep your courage up. In this, we have a command. An imperative sentence expressed in the form of an exclamation. An exclamatory sentence expresses surprise, excitement, or some other emotion. In these three forms of sentences, the assertive, the interrogative, and the imperative together with the exclamatory we are able to express every thought and feeling which demands expression either for practical or artistic purposes. The sentence is the basis of spoken and written language and as we trace its development, we trace the history of the evolution of man and the growth of his power of expression as he has developed his powers of mind. Let us remember some few important reminders. Number one, every sentence must begin with a capital letter. Second, every assertive and imperative sentence should end with a period. And lastly, Every interrogative sentence should end with a question mark. The word in an exclamatory sentence which express strong emotion is followed by an exclamation point. The sentence itself, if in interrogative form, should be followed by a question mark. If in the assertive or the imperative form, it may be followed either by an exclamation point or a period. 
Alright, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!